So it's always nice to have some good news, and uh, hopefully we have, uh, well, at least not some bad news associated with Internet weather for this, uh, this week. Uh, but we certainly have uh, continuing activity that we'd like to share with you here. Uh, first of all, this is uh, packets, actually bytes and packets associated with port 161 UDP. This is actually source port 161 UDP. Uh, that's SNMP, the Simple Network Management Protocol. As we've been reporting over and over again, this is one of many UDP-based protocols that can be used for reflection attack activity, that is uh, denial of service attacks by reflecting off of these servers. We are continuing to see the activity. I think the trend here is that we're seeing more density, that is more cases of attacks that are using SNMP, but they're still not what I would describe as, you know, really big attacks, looking at it from a telecommunications carrier's point of view. Yeah. Uh, if you're the victim of one of these attacks, they could be actually quite big. So they're up in the orders of uh, hundreds of megabits per second, and uh, like I said, more density of this sort of attack taking place. So uh, I think fundamentally, uh, regardless of this port or others, uh, if you have any uh, uh, need to keep your service up and operating, you want to make sure that you have uh, prepared a, a DDoS defense strategy or a service provider that can help you with that. Next item here, an anomaly we identified associated with scam probes on port 27016 UDP. This one appears to be innocuous, and I think, uh, Matt, you reported on this last week, is that correct? Uh, I you, noticed it last week, I don't think I reported on it. Okay, so we, you know, I like to I like to report some things that are anomalies, but yet are not security issues. So this was a this was one case here. It did show up on the on the radar. This this is associated with gaming service activity. You know, this time of year, you'd expect kids are getting out of school. Good time to release some new games and uh, and capture the interest. They're probably enjoying the air conditioning and the uh, the gaming at this point. So this is actually uh, appears to be innocuous activity. But if you do see this on your enterprise, obviously you want to be considering whether whether it's gaming activity or something else that's uh, that's taking place, and if that's within your policy. I think yes, the, uh, the Steam summer sale might be responsible for a good amount of that traffic as well. A whole bunch of games went on sale, and uh, I know myself and a couple other analysts, um, we, we bought a few games. Oh, so you're going to be sharing time between reading Virus Bulletin and, and playing some games. <laughs> playing All right, I'll games. admit it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, uh, okay, next item here is scan sources and probes on port 8081 TCP. And I happen to be showing scan sources here because I thought it was the uh, sort of the most interesting to take a look at. And this is a case here where we obviously have some mechanized activity that is, uh, it appears to be basically daily probing activity with some space in between. There are some exceptions to that. And most of the probes here, as well as the sources, are from China. There are some from U.S. as well as Poland. This is not a case where the vast majority of the probes are from China. This is a case where most of the sources are from China, and uh, it's sort of competing with the, uh, the other probing activity that's taking place. But nevertheless, uh, probing activity on port 8081 TCP, which is, a, I think, an alternate port, or used often for proxy port, right? Right. There's a lot of other web services that use that as a port mm -hmm. as well. Right. As like an alternate web service, yeah. Next one here is scan probes on port 53 TCP. This is associated with DNS as well as, uh, as port 53 UDP, but we typically see more of the activity on UDP associated with DNS. This one, TCP is generally used for uh, zone transfers, and we have seen some indications perhaps, uh, had some discussions where perhaps there's somebody that's going around probing and trying to do zone transfers. I suspect it's more of a you know, sort of survey the internet kind of thing or get a mapping of the internet type of activity that's taking place. Uh, normally you'd want zone transfers to be restricted on DNS servers, uh, but I'm sure that there are plenty of them out there that haven't been restricted. And one of the consequences here is that intentional or not, it could load down the server trying to do these zone transfers when you're expecting you know, a query here and there and all of a sudden you're asking, it, uh, have a system asking for everything that the DNS server knows. Right. Next item here is uh, scan probes on port 623 UDP, and this is associated with ASF RMCP, and to translate that, that's uh, basically the Alert Standards Format Remote Management and Control Protocol. And basically, this is a protocol that's used to manage PCs regardless of the state of the operating system. So you're not dependent on the, op the system being booted. It gives you some capability to go in and manage the system, perhaps tell it to boot, some things uh, of that sort. I included a reference here, which is a document. Just uh, I just happened to pick this up from uh, searching around on uh, what this protocol is about. Uh, this happens to be an HP document for how to use that protocol in managing HP 
computers, but uh, there are lots of other manufacturers that have similar capabilities. Now, what's interesting here is the same sources that are probing this port, and this is relatively new activity. I'm showing 60 days of activity here, so it's uh, basically been going on the last few weeks or so. But the same sources that are probing this one are also probing on port 123 UDP, uh, 161 UDP, and 1900 UDP all of which we have discussed previously associated with potential ports for use in uh, DDoS attacks, that is reflection type DDoS attacks, so having amplification value and associated with potentially, them. Potentially, certainly NTP, 123 UDP, right. was well used earlier in the year for uh, reflection DDoS activity. Right, so there, there, now this activity, most of what we've seen here so far has been associated with a sort of a trusted and known security researching organization. And so I, I consider this to be somewhat or mostly innocuous at this point, but there are certainly is possibility for others they would be searching for the same type of capability. Uh, I'm not sure at this point how successful the, the whether you know lots of these have been exposed or accessible, but um, there are two potential consequences. One is use of this port for DDoS attack activity. The second one will be potentially to be able to uh, get unauthorized access to computers that have this uh, capability exposed. We've talked several times right. in the last few months about the, the potential for port 1900, but we hadn't actually seen any attacks on that. And mm -hmm. so I, I guess it's now time to look at, at this protocol and see what the reflection capabilities are there, uh, even though we haven't seen any attacks on it yet. Yeah, I think you're right, Jim. I actually have a, maybe I'll present something on that. You can reflect quite a bit with 1900 <laughs> UDP. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> Not you sure can. that we want to advertise that, but it is possible. I have some proof case samples of how to do that. Okay. All right, next item here, uh, top 10 most probed ports. And uh, at the top of the list here, we see port 22 TCP. No surprise there. We see 135 TCP. And again, this one's uh, still ranking second. I think, Matt, I think you last week reported that there was a drop in that activity. We're going to take a look at that again and show uh, where basically where it stands at this point. 1433 TCP, uh, that's uh, Microsoft SQL database. 445 TCP, of course, we still have those config infections out there. 3389 TCP, we talked about that with the remote desktop protocol, already got a chance to take a look at the last two years of activity and probing on that one. Next here, uh, fit port 53 UDP, obviously looking for those DNS servers that could potentially be used for, uh, uh, for reflection attacks. Port 80 TCP. 5900 TCP, we haven't seen that one in a little while, kind of came back here, it's uh, associated with VNC, again, a remote desktop protocol capability, and then last but not least, the 8080 TCP. Now, again, as I said, uh, taking a look at the scan probes on port 135 TCP here, you can see what's been happening over the last 60 days. One of the theories was that there was a particular ID that was being checked for, yeah. and they were basically scanning the whole internet to see if that ID existed on any of the computers that were exposed. It but was strange. We saw some. We looked at some of the packets related to this and couldn't really. I don't know. If, I don't know if we know exactly what they were right. looking for, but they were trying to administratively connect with a particular set of credentials, which would be surprising that you'd randomly happen across yeah, was, a machine it, that would accept those credentials. Be, it didn't appear to be a legitimate activity by no. at the very least. So uh, this sort of activity is certainly still taking place. I think when you reported it last week, Matt, there was a sort of a lull in the activity. Uh, it's still there at a lower level than we had seen previously, about half as, half as many probes, but uh, still a significant number on an hourly basis. Looking at the top 10 most sources doing the probing, uh, we have at the top of the list, and actually this one jumped up significantly since uh, last week, port 443 TCP. And uh, we're gonna take a little closer look at that in a few moments here. Next is port 445 TCP, followed by 23 TCP, which is, uh, again, no surprises there. Port 80 TCP, 8080 TCP, and then um, we talked a little bit about uh, 27016. 27015 is on here as well. Also 3128 TCP, which is also a uh, often used as a gaming port. Uh, proxy, actually. Uh, proxy. Yeah, Squid Proxy. 3128. Okay. Squid Proxy. That's right. Um, I think it's it does have some gaming association as well, but I think you're you're probably correct in the 
in the sense that it's associated with squid proxy. Taking a look at the scan sources on port 443 TCP, this is HTTPS, and I, uh, this is actually showing, I think, 60 days of activity here. And the significance here is that we talked about this when this activity was up back in the April timeframe, continuing into May. And uh, we had identified that most of the sources that are doing this probing activity, and this is up around 9,000 sources at the peak here. What this appears to be is some sort of a scanning activity to recruit uh, devices into a botnet. And you can see the growth of the botnet size as we, uh, as we progress here. And as I said, it appeared to me some sort of a systemic problem out of Argentina, yeah. uh, where a lot of devices were being recruited in that botnet. It stopped. We're not sure why it stopped. Perhaps the command control was taken down or something along those lines, or perhaps it was diverted to do something else. Uh, but it does not appear that that botnet has gone away. In fact, it seems to be the same, at least originating from the same place, uh, the same sort of sources that are participating in this scanning activity, except in this case, there was no ramp up. So it suggests that the botnet was basically healthy, perhaps idle, perhaps doing something else, and uh, is uh, still going strong. It's interesting the way that you've got that curve starting, you know, earlier on in the graph. Um, I would almost it extrapolate almost to like say, you connect it, right? right, you could connect those and say the botnet's right. been there the whole time. It's even been growing at the same rate, potentially, and then it just got switched back on. Yeah, that's a good yeah, possibility as well. Absolutely.